Hello Stampers, Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. I hope you guys are having a good Friday. I know my Friday got a lot better when my UPS man arrived. I'm so excited. It's right here, you guys. My pre-order and I can't wait to open it up with you guys. Hi Barb, welcome. I see Sheila popping in. I'm just going to get my computer set up while I wait for people to arrive. Hi, Charlene. Happy Friday, you guys. I know, kind of, well, for some of you it matters. For others, it doesn't matter what day it is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know. Hi, Kelly. Hi, Sue. Wendy, Sue. Sandy, Luba, Cheryl popped in. Welcome, everybody. <clears throat> I was super excited excuse me, my UPS man came and Steve pulled this second box on the bottom in. He's like, oh my gosh, what did you order? This is so heavy. And I said, well, that's my pre-order. And he said, um, I think I'm going to have to make a claim. I think I just hurt my back. <laughs> so he's going to like um, do some workers comp claims against me. <laughs> you silly man. <laughs> So I'll just keep doing a little chit chat here while we're waiting for people to pop in. So Steve is waiting for um, the diggers hotline to show up. They came once, but they didn't mark the lines in our backyard. And we're getting ready to start um, putting in a concrete slab for our tiki bar. <laughs> so I don't know if you guys remember last year I bought a p outdoor pavilion and um, we got it at Costco for a really good deal and we're gonna put it outside right off my office right here and we're gonna use it as a tiki bar so it's gonna be an extension to our our cement patio area that's right off the pool and then we're also we tore our deck off the house last year when we poured the new concrete out right out here and um, so we have to build a new deck and we want just a real small little deck because we really like having the concrete we had a great big deck before and now we have all this concrete and and it's perfect for the location and so we got a quote for um, a composite deck which of course is the best way to go because they don't rot or age or look worn and crummy like Wood decks, I just don't like them. After a year, they look crappy, and you spent all this money on this wood deck, and it just looks crappy. So um, we got some composite fencing in between the house and the garage last year, and that looks really nice, right? It's white. And we also put some out here from this side of the house to the end by the neighbor's house. And so we've been replacing things slowly but surely. Now that the kids are all gone and we're done with the college and the cars and the high car insurance and all the things, right? So we got this quote on a 6 by 10 deck was $6,000. And that is not, that doesn't, that's just materials. It doesn't even include any labor. Oh! <gasps> So I think we're going to go a little different route because the quote we got was for some super duper expensive composite material at a very expensive place. So um, I don't know what we're going to do. <laughs> like, holy cow, that's not happening because that's ridiculous. Anyhow, we're getting a new small little deck. We just need something to come out of our back door. Right now we just have stairs because we tore the deck off. And then we're getting the concrete poured for the outdoor pavilion which is going to be our tiki bar and um, I already bought that everything's bought except for the deck material and the concrete pretty exciting stuff going on here yeah so it's kind of nice to be fixing up this old house and believe me oh my lord it has needed so much work for so many years but you know what my opinion was that I wanted to have I wanted to provide the kids with a good life and a good life means that you get to go places and you're not always pinching pennies even though we did from time to time don't get me wrong but the 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 look of my house the outdatedness of my house the fact that we needed new flooring 
and a new deck and a new this and a new that. None of that was important to me. It was having a good life. That's I don't live from my house. It'd be great if I had a new house. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> but um, I just felt that it was more important to spend money on that. So now that the kids are all gone and we're not having to spend money on all those things, now we're fixing up this old house. And it's really been kind of fun and exciting. And you guys saw my new laundry room. Oh, I just can't get enough time in there. <laughs> it's like the prettiest room in my house. I love it. So anyways, I thought tonight that I would do my unboxing with you. I have not opened up my new boxes. This is all pre-order product in here, I think. Anyways, I don't know for sure what this is. But um, yeah, I'm pretty excited about it. Oh yeah, this is part of it because it's got the blue sticker on it. I sprung for second day air shipping so that I could get it here soon. I have a whole bunch of swaps that I'm involved in. Because when we have a new catalog coming out or a mini catalog or some type of a new promotion with new product, we as Stampin' Up! Demonstrators do swaps. And that's how I get all these great ideas to share with you. So it's really fun. Before I do that, I have some prizes to give away. And what I am going to give away, I've got two prizes because I didn't do one last night because um, I just forgot to go um, do the whole drawing thing. That's kind of a time-consuming little thing. So I did two for tonight. One of them is from Facebook Live for yesterday and um, or the day before or whatever. Anyways, I'm giving away two prizes. We don't even know why. <laughs> like, who cares, right? <laughs> so um, this is from Terry Mullinex. She sent me the Here's a Card stamp set and she had two of them. And lucky for my winner, that Terry has already put the stickers on these. So you don't even have to do that. Like, it's the best of all worlds, right? And the winner for the Here's a Card, this is a really, really good sentiment set. I've used it a lot, is Linda Vasquez of Melrose, Minnesota. Congratulations, Linda. This beauty will be going out in the mail to you tomorrow and you don't even have to whoops let me keep her address off of there do any work before you can use it Wah! I know I love that I wish everybody I wish somebody put all my stamps together <laughs> sometimes I get kind of lazy about that right yeah and then I have exciting news where did it go here it is remember this we get to pop another one off so for those of you that may be new this is my million dollar chain. And um, I am working my way to a million dollars in career to date sales. And I am happy to report that I just hit the next little step, which was $950,000. So we get to tear off a chain. Woohoo! Oh, the crowd goes wild. <laughs> I know, I can do my own sound effects. Don't worry. Where's my bell? I have a bell. This is funny. My friend Frenchie gave this to me at a convention. I don't want to really like make it go crazy. There we go. That's as crazy as it's going to get because I know some of you might have people sleeping in the room and <laughs> it'll go bonkers. <laughs> but I don't know why things fly in and out of my head, but I just thought about this. I really enjoy when I talk to Alexa at your houses because when I say Alexa a lot of your Alexas pop up and go what can I help you with or whatever they say so I always think that's kind of funny did your Alexa start talking <laughs> I bought one I've got an echo dot over here in the corner I bought it to be my personal assistant you know to tell it things and then it could tell me things back like uh, do this do that put this on my list put that on my other list and all that stuff but I never took it out of the box <laughs> I'm notorious for that I do have to tell you guys that I got my um, webcam. I think I told you that. Hang on. I told you that yesterday. I got my little webcam, and I have taken it out of the box. That's huge for me because I have a Dymo um, Twin Turbo label maker. It's right down here under my desk. I'm looking at my little baby right down there. And it took me probably a year and a half to get that out of the box. Kind of weird like that. Like It's like I just don't want to deal with it. But I had to have it, right? So anyways, I just hit my $950,000. I've only got $50,000 to go in sales before I hit my million dollar mark, <laughs> which is so exciting. Yeah, so um, I'm doing another drawing. 
And I am going to give away one of these beautiful little calendar kits that Terry Mullinex sent me. She had a bunch left over and she said, give these away for your drawings. And I said, okay. So thank you again, Terry. The winner for this is Karen Martinez and Karen is from Whittier, California. Congratulations, Karen. Both of these will go out, whoops, let me make sure I don't have any addresses showing, in the mail tomorrow. Yay! So my plan is that I'm going to do an unboxing for you. I've got mail and cards to show you that I received in the mail, some goodies. And then I probably will not be back until Sunday night because I need to get my taxes done. Like it's starting to make me very twitchy. <laughs> And some people might call that nervous. I like to call it twitchy. I used to work for um, a Presbyterian organization and my boss was just the coolest. And she would say that when she forgot her cell phone at home and she'd come to work, she'd go, you know, if I don't have my cell phone with me, I just feel twitchy. So my taxes are making me feel very twitchy. Like I need to get them done and figure out how I'm gonna get them to my guy to tell me the damages so that I can move forward with the rest of my life. Because right now I'm kind of sitting in limbo. I have all this money piled up to pay my taxes. I don't know if it's enough. I don't know how bad it's gonna be. And it just is a scary kind of thing, right? <laughs> so I want to either get the sticker shock or go, oh, okay. Or go, wow, that's awesome. Probably not. And I need to get that done before I can move forward and be at peace. How about that? <laughs> That's a good way to put it. So I won't be back until Sunday. I'm hoping to get my taxes done tomorrow. Um, like my part of it done. And uh, yeah, keep your fingers crossed for me. Because <laughs> I don't think it's going to be good. Anywho, are we ready to unbox? I think we've got everybody here. We've got a lot of people popping in. Let me grab one of my crummy pairs of scissors because I never use my good scissors on stuff like this. So I've got these cheapo ones. And we're going to start, I think I'm just going to keep this right back here, but I'll bring things closer to you so you can see them. But I'm just going to start with this little box and see what's in here. Pray that I don't stab myself. Have you guys ever done that, opening boxes? Opening boxes is kind of a dangerous thing. Okay, here we go. Oh, it's not business supplies. It is fun stuff. Okay, so this is the Flowers for Every Season Memories and More card pack and envelopes. You guys might find this really not very funny because I know that there's a lot of demonstrators that are waiting for their catalogs, but I got mine yesterday, I think. I still have not opened it because I want to sit down and relax and just dedicate an hour or two to looking over that new catalog. So I'm kind of weird like that. I really want to enjoy it. I don't want to just rush through it. So, so I'm going to make a whole event out of it. Yeah. Hang on. I'm trying to open. And again, I'm probably going to, there might be blood in this broadcast tonight because I'm using scissors for opening things. Okay, here we go. I just wanted to open this up so we could actually see it because that, I mean, I can show you all kinds of things in packages. That's boring. Okay, so this is flowers for every season, memories and more cards and envelopes. Oh, they're pretty. Oh, look how pretty they are. So here's the inside. The, the other side is just white. Here's the inside. Should I close this? Hang on, let me close. Let me close. Nope, that didn't work. Hang on a second again. I'm going to turn it the other way. That's better. I'm going to flip some lights on here. It's really sunny outside, but then it makes funny lines all over. So we've got this prettiness. And, oh, it's a whole rainbow. Let me hold all these up. Oh my gosh, you guys. Look how pretty they are. And this one. Beautiful. Okay, now let's look at the cards. I feel like it's Christmas and I'm a little kid. <laughs> Here are cards. These are all the new ink colors. Oh my gosh. It'll take me forever to remember their names. But each card is white on the inside, colored on the outside. They're all scored. Look at that. And then we have matching envelopes. Oh my gosh. These are beautiful. If I am this excited over this, 
it's possible I might pee my pants before we get done with this. <laughs> no, I, I promise I won't. I'm, I'm pretty good about that. <laughs> I can control myself to some extent, right? Okay, what else? Oh, I ordered a ton of Knight of Navy cardstock. <laughs> this is kind of boring, but um, my, uh, what is that golf set called? Country Club Online Class. I'm getting ready to start cutting for that. So if you have the Country Club um, suite of products, or if you need it, you can order it from me and um, get the online class for free with a pre-cut cardstock pack for nine different cards, right? That's a pretty good deal. Let me move this cardstock over here so I don't lose track of it. Because I will need that. I'm getting ready to, I'll, I'll be getting ready to start cutting that soon. Then we have Forever Gold Specialty Designer Series paper. And this is kind of an odd size. I'll measure it for you. I didn't know it was a kind of an odd size, but it comes very protected. Oh my Lord. <gasps> Look at this. Holy cow. This is gorgeous. Okay, let me measure it. We've got, it's about nine and a half by nine and a half. Okay, so that was one. Oh, it's all separated by tissue paper. I know there's, hang on. I want to see if there's different kinds of paper in here. Oh yeah, there is. Hang on. I'm going to move that over. Here's the other one. <gasps> these are little panels and they're all die cut you just pop them right out of here and put them on the card fronts is that gorgeous ah! yeah so I don't know how many sheets you get in here it's a lot so hang on let me look at the I gotta put these back nicely because I don't want to wreck them right they come on a piece of cardboard and another piece of cardboard on the front so they're really well protected and you get six sheets, so three sheets of each one of those. And again, this is called the Forever Gold Specialty Designer Series Paper. Now, i got to get this back in here so I don't ruin anything before I even get to use it, right? I'm so excited about designing new swaps. Here comes the World of Good. I'm going to remember this one. I'm actually in a sweet swap with this suite where I have to design four different cards and mail them off to all the people. So each person gets four cards designed with this suite from me that's in the swap. And then I get four cards of all the other suites that are available from each person. But look at how pretty. Okay, hang on. I'm gonna see if I can figure out how to do this in a nice way. Here we go. Beautiful. You get two sheets of each. This is 12 by 12. Oh my gosh, so gorgeous, right? Somebody asked a question when I posted that I was going to be live, and they asked, when can customers expect to start receiving the new annual catalog? Sometime around mid-May. So um, today is the 8th. I would say probably sometime the week of the 17th or so. Look at this. Yeah, and I believe this is copper, copper foil. Look at how pretty that is. Holy cow. <gasps> I'm excited because I have to figure out four different cards. So if you guys have any good ideas with this suite, I'll show you the stamp set and the dies and everything too. If you have any good ideas with the suite, um, let me know because I need to design four different cards with it. You guys are always so helpful that way. How pretty that is. Oh my gosh. Wow. I love it. I'm going to put these globes back on the front and that'll help me remember. This is World. Oh gosh, I knew I thought I was going to remember it. World of Good. And then it flew right out of my head. All right, I get this back in here. Yeah, this could take a while, so I hope you're patient. If you have to run or make supper or whatever, Jean says, Haley, start scrapbooking with some of the new DSP papers. If you have to run and make supper or whatever, you can always come back and watch the replay. So I got, I actually ordered the max on everything here. So some items we can only get one, like stamp sets, dies, punches, embossing folders. But on consumable things, a lot of it we could order two, and some of it we could only order one. 
Um, it depend, depends on how much Stampin' Up! had in stock. But I did um, max out my order on everything because I have a team that I like to give away door prizes to, right? And it doesn't matter whether people are on my team to build a business or a discount shopper. If they watch the team meeting live once a month, they get entered to win door prizes. And so I'll have lots of new product to give away. And I have a team meeting next week. The other thing I want to tell you is if you're super excited and you want to join my team, you can order this pre-order stuff as part of your discount shopper kit, the kit that you ordered to join my team. So um, if anybody's interested in that, after I get done with this video, you are going to find a link to the $99 kit deal that'll answer all your questions. There's a link there. You can click on it, order the kit, and away we go. You get to be part of my team, which is a lot of fun. So let me open this up. This goes with the World of Good. Did you see how I remembered that? Yeah. Winning. Um, the World of Good suite of products. Well, apparently my scissors aren't winning too well here. There we go. Um, and this is a Memories and More card pack. I'm trying to open it so I can like put things back in it. How about that? Sorry. Okay, here we go. I love these. Remember I made a bunch of cards with the Magnolia one? This is the World of Good Memories and More. Ooh, these are the sticker ones. I'll pull these out and show these to you, but otherwise I'm just going to kind of flash through the cards. And then, of course, the other side is different. You get two of each card in here. These are great for scrapbooking, but you can also use them to make cards, which is really cool. You get some 4 by 6s These are the 3 by 4s Let's see. Ready? I know these are backwards. There's nothing we can do about it. They're either backwards or green. <laughs> Something's messed up with the mirroring. Okay. Let me see. I got to look at a comment here. Oh, my screen isn't scrolling again. And here's the other ones. Yes, um, Wanda Spencer just said she noticed that the new catalog runs from June 30th to May 3rd. Um, is that correct? Yes, I believe it is. Stampin' Up! has changed around some dates. You're going to find that this annual catalog is just a little bit thinner than our other annual catalogs, but our mini catalogs are going to be thicker. They're going to have more stuff in them. So the holiday mini catalog that comes out um, won't come out until... September or October they kind of change some dates on stuff and then the spring mini catalog are going to be bigger because the annual catalog is a little bit smaller so I think that was a really good decision okay I think I already showed these to you but I'm yakking and I lose track of my thoughts <laughs> putting it right out there folks okay thank you so much Marsha for the share if you guys would like to share this video for me that really does help me out in the internet world here are the die-cut stickers that go with the World of Good, Memories, and More card pack. Ooh, look at how pretty those are. These are just so masculine, right? I love them. Okay, so there we go. This one will be mine because I opened it. <laughs> what do we got next? Let's see if I can find the stamp set. I got, oh, here it is. Here it is. Where's our dies at? That's what I need to find. Many layered, hang on, we've got embossing folders, many medallions, there's another folder. Ooh, I see, this is why I should open this ahead of time. Oh, I got all my brochures came. I can show you that too, I'm pretty sure. Okay, so I'll just show you the stamp set. Here's the beautiful world stamp set that goes with the World of Good Suite. Isn't that pretty? Pretty. Isn't that handsome? It's very handsome. I like it. I think I'm going to have a really good time with this. Okay, next. What else do we have here? Like, I don't know what goes with what. You guys know that, right? Because this is all new to me. 
lots and lots and lots of stamp sets. I'll put the dies over here. Ooh, I like that. Designer series paper, more brochures, lots of ribbon. Ooh, here's another Memories and More card pack. This is for the flowers for every season. That is one of my favorite, favorite sweets. More ribbon, more ribbon. Okay, I'm just trying to kind of get this forever flourishing dies. Oh my gosh. Oh, these are those rings. These are gold hoop embellishments. I have no idea what I'm going to do with them, but they looked very interesting. So I only ordered one pack of these, I think, because I'm like, oh, I don't know. I didn't know what to do with those, but I definitely wanted to have them. There's some more designer paper, more brochures. Oh, here's some more dyes. I'm still looking for the world of good. We've got birds and more sunflower dyes. World map dies. Here we go. We're going to open these beauties up. I think these are going to be really cool. I'm starting to get used to not having fingernails again. <laughs> like, one thing I noticed is that when you scratch yourself, you can actually really scratch yourself. With fake nails, you can't. And the other thing is that they're not thick, so I can pick stuff up and, like, open up things that I probably couldn't before. I thought I heard something fall. Look at how cool these are. Yeah. Very cool. What does that do? Oh, it's just some scripty writing. Yeah, very cool. Good man cards, I'm telling ya. Okay, let me put that over with that and that, and I'll keep this over there just in case. Then, let's see. I wanna, oh my gosh, pull out. Let me push my, push my, um, computer back so I have some more room here. Oh, yeah, I got more cardstock too for that online class I was talking about. That's why this was so heavy. <laughs> Look at it all. I've got the new in colors here. And then these are just regular colors that I ordered. Oh, look at the in colors. <gasps> pretty, pretty. And is this, yep, that's, that's an in color. This is, these are, that one is. These two are not. And here's some more. Okay, so this is our new cinnamon cider. Look at how pretty that is. Very different. So if you hang on just a second, I am going to, these are old colors. I'm gonna get out our soft suede and see how that compares because I always kind of like to do that. So here is some soft suede and our new cinnamon color. We don't have anything like that. So that's pretty cool, right? And then we have this misty moonlight and we don't have a blue like that either. If I were to bring out some Knight of Navy, if I could find it, <laughs> I would get a piece out here. Here's some Knight of Navy. This is much more like a blue jean color. So much lighter. And then we have just jade. This is very pretty. Now this to me looks kind of like mint macaron, but you can see that it is a very different color. It's darker than mint macaron, so I like this a lot. And then, oh, that's the just jade. I already showed you this. <gasps> Magenta madness. This might be my new color, everybody. And I'm just going to compare that to melon mambo. So you can see the difference there. Okay, so much more pinky. Very, very pretty. How does cinnamon cider compare to terracotta tile? I was thinking the exact same thing. So let me grab some terracotta. I've been using that color a lot. You know, if it happens to be in the um, DSP, I use it a lot more often. But look at the difference. This is like, like a cinnamon brown. And this is more orange, like terracotta. <laughs> I know that seems so silly, but the names really go with the paper. Yeah, so very, very different. That was a great question. Thank you. All right, what else do we have here? I've got a couple memories and more. Ooh, here's some wooden elements. These are the In Good Taste wooden elements. Look at how cool those are. I wonder if they're the same all the way through. You get four sheets of them. 
Very pretty. You know, you can dip these in ink. You can dip them in Versamark and emboss them with colored embossing powder. You can do, you can color on them with your Stampin' Blends. You can do a whole bunch of things with these wooden elements or leave them wood. That's what I like about them. Okay, more wooden elements. And then here comes our in color ribbons. Look at how pretty, right? I love these colors. I really am very excited about these in colors. Every once in a while we get a set of in colors that are just like, huh. <laughs> right? Got to keep it positive. So I'm just like, hmm, well. <laughs> you know how your mama said if you don't have something nice to say? <laughs> but I really like these. There have been other years where I wasn't too excited. Okay, here is, oh, these are gonna be adorable, you guys. These are the little mason jar shaker domes. Look how cute they are. So, oh, I'm looking for the punch. Look at these little shaker domes. Yeah. And then here is the punch that punches out the hole for you to put these in and make your shakers. <gasps> I know I'm excited about these. Like I'm giddy about the jars. Remember um, Jar of Love? Like somebody asked me if they thought that this punch would match the Jar of Love stamp set that's retired. No, it's much smaller. So um, I'm glad that we have dies that go with that Jar of Love that's retired, right? Yeah, because this is different. And if you have the jar of love with the dies, you're definitely going to want this, this one because it will kind of coordinate. You can use them both together. <gasps> These are pretty. Okay, hang on. I should have printed out the whole um, pre-order list, but I didn't. I just used what was on my computer. I wanted to see. Oh, I think these are really pretty. Look at how pretty they are, you guys. I wanted to kind of see what these were. And they're just kind of like... I don't know how to ex what are they called I don't know how to describe them flower for every season gems oh I wanted a green one well I just lost one on the floor so yeah okay look at <laughs> maybe if I can show you one there we go can you guys see that so there's clear ones and there's green ones they're kind of iridescent -y. these are really pretty and I'm assuming they'll go really good in those little shaker domes, right? I don't know if that's what they're for or not, but because I can't remember. Here we have Tasteful Textile 3D Embossing Folder. That looks pretty cool. I think that I will get it open. There we go. I'll just open that up. Maybe we'll use it. That would be kind of fun, right? Here is the Old World paper, and this goes with the Old World suite that I have to make swap cards out of. So let's get that opened up. And I might do a little test run with that. Here is the Lovely Labels Pick a Punch. Look at this, I'm gonna open this because this looks really interesting. Now, I haven't watched any of the videos. Stampin' Up! provides videos for us. If you're a discount shopper, you get to see them when we do. Um, but it, we have all kinds of videos that show us how to use all these products. I haven't watched any of them yet because I need to get my taxes done, right? <laughs> you guys, I was up till 4 o'clock this morning going through my emails. I had seven pages of emails to get through, and that means 700. And... I, didn't, I don't read all of them because some of them are just things that I subscribe to and whatever, but you still got to kind of sort through them. So I had to get that done. That was foremost. Now it's my taxes, and then I will start watching videos and look at my catalog. I promise. <laughs> Lovely labels pick a punch. That's really cool. Oh, I was excited about this one. Let me get it out of the wrapper. This is called the Confetti Flowers Border Punch, which I thought was going to be really, really, really cute. And it is, but it's also apparently childproof. There we go. Tricked me. They put the opening on the end. Look at this one. Yeah, this looks cool, huh? A whole little border of little flowers like that. Yeah. 
I know Haley's excited. She loves punches. Here's some more mason jar shaker domes. Okay. Oh, I got a couple more things in here. These are in color. What are they called? In color enamel dots. Look how pretty those are. I want to see the magenta ones. There they are. Oh, I love these. These are really nice because they're very low profile. They don't add any bulk. So yeah. Oh, Chris says she really likes my blouse. Thank you. I don't wear this very often and I don't know why because it's really soft and I love it. I have it on today because it's long sleeve. I've got a tank top underneath. It's freezing cold here in Wisconsin. Like it is cold out today. It looks beautiful, but it's not. Okay, here comes some stamp sets. Oh, let's see if we have matching tasteful labels. Oh, here's the stamp set with the jars. This is called Jar of Flowers. Look how cute that is. Yeah. Look at little straws. Aren't they cute? I love them. Christmas. It's just like Christmas. Christmas in May. All right. Next, birds and branches. Look at that. These are pretty. I like the watercolor images. I'm always drawn into watercolor images, and that's what these are. Birds and branches. There's um, dyes to match them here someplace, too. I'll get to those. Here's the stamp set. This is called Many Mates. Lots of greetings on here. This is going to be a good one. Get well soon. Thinking of you. Celebrate thanks because you make me smile. This calls for a huge celebration. I'm glad you were born. <laughs> then we've got Tasteful Touches. Is that what it says? Yeah. I'm like, did that say torches? No, it says touches. Look how pretty that is. Beautiful fonts. Just saying, hello, you are so special. The good things in life are better with you. You are the best. This is really cool. I like this one a lot. This one I actually got free. I earned this due to some type of a sale promotion. Like, I think I had to sell so many poppy stamp sets or bundles and then I got this for free that was something that um has been happening since last November I believe but anyways comfort and hope and look at all those cool elements I love stamp sets like this you just do those things in the background and um this says I know know that I love and care about you sometimes there are no words and sending you a paper hug comfort and hope I love this beautiful. Kathy says that the birds and branches is her favorite so far. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm in love with the little jar one. Oh, and I'm getting to, oh, here comes celebrate sunflowers. I love these big flowers. Love, love, love them. And it says, let's celebrate you. Congratulations on reaching a whole new level of wonderful. I love that. Thanks a bunch. And know that you are loved. Beautiful. And there's dyes to match this. And I will find those in a second. Whoa, hang on. Things are falling. All right. Forever Fern. This is a whole suite, you guys. It has matching designer series. Oh, I'm like, where's my paper? I've got more stuff to show you. I thought my box is empty. I don't have anything else, but I do. This is called Forever Fern, and it says, You can do this, hello, love and laughter forever after, and to a friend that makes me smile. I love that. Next, lovely you. Look at those buds. They're beautiful. We have... Love is what makes us family, miles apart, but still in my heart. Cherished friend, trust me, your lovely smile, let's cheer you up. Heartfelt, wildly grateful, you're my person. I love that saying, you're my person. Just because and always, some, with some really pretty little um, images to go along with it. Okay, this is lovely you. <gasps> Blooms, nope. Blossoms in Bloom. And again, I think there's a matching set of dyes that go with this one. Now these say, happy birthday, thinking of you, sure do miss you, hello, thank you, I like you a lot, and get well soon. Very pretty. A grand kid. <laughs> 
No amount of money could ever show how much I love you. Best grandkid ever. Congratulations. But here's here's some money anyways. Oh, here, but here's some anyway. Yeah, my dad used to give me money all the time. Like, we were not even probably, I would consider middle class. We were kind of poor. But when I was a kid, my dad would give me like 20 bucks. Like, here, have $20. I'd be like, that like was $100 way back then. He was just the most generous man. So that's it. But here's some anyway. I, I know you don't need any money, but here's some anyway. So smart, so fun, so sweet, and so wonderful. To an amazing grandson, you are so loved. We must be related. Happy birthday to an extraordinary granddaughter and so proud of you. And how sweet is this? Good timing, stamping up. <laughs> I thought that was really funny. And we've got Field of Flowers. Again, some really interesting elements in here. Thinking of you, a celebration in my heart, my friend. You are believed, love, and always. And I love the little dragonfly, right? Yeah. Oh, oh, look, this goes with this. Okay, so we have this stamp set. And here are the greenery embossing folders. Does that really go with that? I don't know. But it looks like it could. Who knows? We'll figure it out, won't we? Yeah. Let me get these out because we might have to try these too. I've got lots of scraps. Here is a little embossing folder. Look at, can you guys even see that? I think we'll emboss something with it so we know what's going on. Here's the other one. Aww. And here's the two patterns on both of these. Now i got to keep these all together because I don't remember what they're called. All right, next, let's open up some dies here. Who's still with me? Are you guys still awake? <laughs> what's everybody drinking tonight? You know what I have. Yeah. I do have a confession, though. I had a peanut buster parfait from Dairy Queen for a late afternoon snack. It was horrible. It was horrible. It was so good. <sighs> okay. Dyes to match. Look at how pretty these are. Oh my gosh, I can't even wait to get my hands on these. Well, I do have my hands on them, right? I can't wait to use them to cut some stuff out. Can't wait to cut. Okay, next... We have Birds and More. This is Kathy Ballard's favorite. She said this was her favorite. Oh, we got Margarita's Nancy. I'm, I'm heading over to your house, Nancy Clark. We're going to have some margaritas. Sharon says, I'm awake, sort of. <laughs> Sharon. Oh, my gosh. Look at how beautiful. <gasps> you guys. Mm. This just makes me giddy. I'm not twitchy anymore. That's beautiful. I love this. And let me put this back in here. Otherwise, I'll just have just a complete disaster. You know. <laughs> you know. You know what a mess I can be. <laughs> Bless your heart for putting up with all of it, you guys. I really appreciate it. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Oh, hang on. I got something on the floor, which could be... Oh, no. It's just a Stampin' Up! thing. I don't know what that is. I thought it might be the directions for my new um, webcam. That wouldn't be good, would it? Oh, tasteful label dies. Look at these. And they have the stitching on the outside and the inside. So it'll give you the stitching when you die cut it and on the negative left behind. I love it when they do that. Again, this is called tasteful label dies. And it goes with something, but I don't know what. We'll get it all figured out at some point, you guys. Don't worry. I'll die cut all of these and put them on my little card so you can see what they actually look like when they're die cut. Kathy Schmidt says she loves the birds and the sunflowers. Yep. Helen's got iced tea. I like iced tea. <gasps> Rhonda says she might have an old fashioned later. Okay, so Rhonda, funny little story about old fashions. So Gilmore, I don't know if Gilmore's on here tonight. I think she is. She asked me to share my Southern Comfort Old Fashioned Sweet with Olives recipe. So at 3 o'clock in the morning, and I'm not kidding... I went out and found a picture on Pinterest of old fashions, forever flourishing dyes. Look at those. So I found a picture. I went and found a recipe and I edited it to be my recipe for my old fashions. And then I posted it on this Facebook group so everybody could see it. Only today when Gilmore said, I can't find it, I went and looked for it. It's not there. 
So I'm not really sure where I posted it. Somebody's got my old fashioned recipe out there. And if you've seen it, let me know because I don't know what happened to it. And I was kind of mad because it took me a little bit of time to do that because I had to like go dig around on Pinterest and find all the things and change it. And then I said something snarky in there like, don't ever order an old fashioned unless at a bar, unless you're in Wisconsin. And definitely never if you're in Iowa and or Las Vegas or on a cruise ship. Don't order an old fashioned. Ugh. They do not know what they're doing and they're horrible. <gasps> oh, many medallions dies. Look at that. That's beautiful. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Who said that? I saw it this morning, but not sure where. Deborah, we need to find it. <laughs> we are on a mission to find Kelly's old fashioned recipe. I knew I posted it someplace. Yeah. And I told Gilmore, I said, well, when I have some time, I'll tr do it again. I just don't know what happened to it. It's somewhere, isn't it? <laughs> it was late. I was tired. Funny thing, my husband got up about 3 a.m. So he was sitting in the kitchen on his iPad when I went in there and tripped over something and almost fell over. And he's like, you need to go to bed. And I'm like, are you kidding me? I know I do. Oh, these are two. Mmm. I'll be quiet so you can just savor the goodness. These are beautiful. Now, these are called Many Layered Blossom Dyes. Okay, so they go with this, I think. So there's two of them. Go with this. I could be wrong. I'm not swearing by anything. I know nothing. I know nothing about this catalog. I haven't even opened it for Pete's sakes. I did look at it online, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, next, ribbon. We got ribbon. Oh, this, this is a flowers for every season ribbon combo pack. Now, one of the things I couldn't order was the um, designer series paper that goes with the flower for every season. It wasn't available, but it is now, so I just put it on an order today. So I'll be getting that. It's six by six designer series paper. This is really pretty. Like... I really like this Baker's Twine a lot. I love Baker's Twine because it just adds so much to a card without adding a whole bunch, right? Just a little bit. Let me get some of these open. What is this? This is, oh, I heard about this early espresso. This is supposed to be like a faux suede. Let me see what's it called. Yep, uh, faux suede trim. And I know this is hard for you guys to probably see in the video. <gasps> it's just like suede. Mm, I love it. This is going to be great for masculine cards. Not even kidding. Oh, that didn't have a bag. Okay. Then we have... Um, oh, this is the in-color ribbon. Let's open one of these up. Careful so I don't stab myself and bleed on national TV. <laughs> it's not really national TV, but it's kind of close. <laughs> Look at that. This is really, really soft and subtle. Subtle. Is that the word? Subtle? It's going to manipulate easily. How about that? That's what I like about it. Oh, yeah. That's nice. Okay. So that's the in color ribbon. And I showed you all of those, right? Yep. What is this? Ooh, I'm having a little hot flash. That's some more in color ribbon. I ordered two of some of these. Some of them we could only order one because they must not have had a lot in the warehouse. Um, it's really hard for stamping up to get in all this new product while we still have all the old product and it's still on the shelves for sale. And so it causes a lot of chaos for them. So that's why sometimes things run on back order right away because they can only fit so much in their warehouse and all kinds of little things like that. What is this? What did I just open here? Forever Greenery Trim Combo Pack. Well, this is certainly beautiful. Oh, I'm having a little hot flash, you guys. Let me open this. Oh my lord, I can't get it. You guys ever have a lot of trouble getting the... And then you're going to stab yourself? I kind of try to pinch it to make the, the clear paper stand up a little bit so I can get my scissors in there. But you want to be very careful so that you don't stab yourself. <gasps> Look at how pretty this is. It's like, it's like gold. Let me see if I can find a dark piece of paper. It's like gold, gold um, string, like linen thread that's gold. Beautiful. 
Uh, what is replacing the embossing buddy? Melanie, nothing that I'm aware of. Um, I think everybody has one. If you have one, you're golden. So yeah, and if, if you don't have one and you're trying to get one for your customers, they need to buy their own now because they're going to go away. I'm assuming they're just not selling anymore and they're taking up space on the pick line and we need to, you know, Stampin' Up! needs to put in products that are selling. <gasps> this is beautiful! Oh my gosh, I love, love, love this. So this is coordinated in a, in a combo pack with the gold twine. And it's called Forever Greenery. And this is really, really soft. I love it, love it. I gotta keep these together. Otherwise, I'll never know what they come from, go to. You know, you know how many problems I have. <laughs> yeah, she has a lot of problems. Okay, can you see me sweating? I'm just literally sweating to death right now. At, nothing even bad happened. <laughs> You know how I like when I make a mistake and I get nervous, then I start having a hot flash? Yeah, nothing bad happened. I'm having fun here, and now I start sweating like a little pig. Look at this. This is really cool, too. This is... Where did I just take that from? I hope it's from here. Yep. Flowers for every season. So we've got this really, really pretty white. Let's do this. Get this. See what I'm doing here to these? I'm kind of pushing so that that... That clear layer gets um, pushed up and I can then get my scissors in there to cut it. You want to keep your hands away from so you don't stab yourself. I have a whole video on that. <laughs> it's kind of funny too. Look at how pretty this is. Yeah. Again, part of the flowers for every season. And then I want to open up this pack. And again, I'm squeezing that up, but I'm being very careful so I don't stab my stab myself. I don't want any blood on anything. Got enough problems with the COVID, right? <laughs> Not funny, but you know, we need to laugh. Look at how pretty that is. Oh, it's like double. <gasps> it's double, you guys. Look at how pretty that is. I hope it's like coming in so you can see it. Let me get it a little further away so I can see it. Oh yeah, and it's wrapped with silver thread, silver metallic thread. I got the buddy anyway and tell him to use a dryer sheet to run it across. Yeah, there's other little things that work for embossing. But um, it is what it is, you know. There's been lots of products that we've gotten rid of that I know it seems like we can't live without them, but we really can. <laughs> Maybe not the embossing buddy. Just saying, right? Okay, so I got two packs of that ribbon. That's awesome. I already opened this up for you. Uh, we've got the Brown Faux Early Espresso. These are some more of those little shaker deals. And I got another, some more ribbon. Oh, designer paper. I've got lots of designer paper here, you guys. So let's look at that. I'm going to just set these in here so I have some space. Yeah, I always make such a mess, don't I? <laughs> such a messy person. Stamping is kind of messy. I'm covered in little ribbon strips everywhere. I'll put them over there to cover up my Dairy Queen bag. Steve doesn't know I went there. <laughs> I know, right? It's not that I'm hiding it from him, but sometimes he's on a need-to-know basis and he didn't need to know. <laughs> my friend Barb says that about her husband all the time. Yeah. He's on a need-to-know basis. He didn't need to know. <laughs> it's kind of funny. He gets a little worked up about stuff. Not Steve, but her husband. So it's really quite cute. She's like, yeah, he didn't need to know that. Okay. Here comes the Flowers for Every Season Memories and More card pack. Oh my gosh, I just know this is going to be beautiful. Now, this is the one I couldn't get the designer series paper. Whew, I'm hot. Somebody just says they have sympathy. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> There we go. Here we go. Ready? Memories and more. Card pack. We're going to turn it over. And I'll go through these better with you someday when we're like on this suite for sure. But look at how pretty. These are so pretty. So these are the three by four ones. And here comes, I want to get out the sticker pages because those are, maybe there aren't any in here. Oh, there has to be. Oh, yeah, I think these are them. Okay, I'll just get those out of there. Look at, sorry. All this stuff takes time, right? 
Oh, you can even see the back of these. Oh, there's another sticker page. Hang on. Yep, here we go. Oh my gosh, so pretty. These are so pretty. I'm gonna have so much fun with these. You're gonna love them. Okay, then the sticker pages. Look at these. These are all die cut, adhesive stickers. They're very high quality. Hang on, I can see through this. So that means it's like laser cut. These leaves are like kind of laser cut. Oh, they are. Oh my goodness, you guys. So pretty. Okay, and then look at the words. You get two sheets of each of these. Yeah, beautiful, right? I love this. And again, that was the Flowers for Every Season Memories and More card pack. Okay, I'm going to put these away. I got got two of the two of these so we might be giving one away at the team meeting next week and by the way my team meetings are virtual now we don't actually meet um, we do a zoom conference call which has been really fun we broadcast live to Facebook in case people don't know how to get on zoom or what whatever the case may be oh I, oh I got some of these I only got one pack of these how come maybe I got two I just don't know it these are called hang on there's got to be a name uh, antiqued corners and slides elements. Oh, look at these. Remember these? These are like, nah, let me get some out. These are like from a long time ago. These are like, like photo corners. Remember those? Little slides, like little ribbon slides, like little buckles. That'll be great for Santa stuff, just saying. Here's some more of the little photo corners. So there's a whole container of these. Meh, I just dropped one. And these are antique corners and slides elements. Very cool. Okay, all this stuff goes back in here. Here goes that punch. Let's do the punch. Should we do the punch? Let's do the punch. Oh, I got lots and lots of flirty flamingo cardstock. So here we go with the punch. See how this baby works. Ooh, look at that. Hang on, I'm working with it. Little flowers all along the bottom. I think I like that. And then of course, you can take all the little flowers and use them in a little shaker. They're super cute, look how cute they are. You guys notice my hands are clean today? Just saying. Okay. Uh, we're going to put this away and this away, and now I'm going to bring in the paper. And this, and these. Did I open that? Yep, I did. Okay, so I bought the 12 by 12 2020-2022 in color. So this is our new in colors in 12 by 12 Haley scrapbooking paper. I bought it for her, not going to lie. Here comes the Forever Greenery Designer Series paper. This is beautiful. I always like looking at it in real life. Now, for those of you that have been asking me about the DSP samplers, I think that I am going to actually make, take this cardstock, I'm going to cut it in two by two squares, I'm going to print out the samplers, and I will probably have them available on my blog to buy. And, um, but everybody's going to put their own together. Like you're going to put the two inch pieces all over your, your, um, sampler pages. Let me grab one here. Just like these, you're going to do that. I'll include the designer paper cut and the punched out circles for each one of the colors. And then you get to put them together because I don't have time to do that. But I think I'll make them to, I'll make them. And Heather's asking, do I scrapbook? I have scrapbooked, but I, I don't currently right now. I'm, I'm not scrapbooking. Look at how pretty this is, you guys. I might have to start scrapbooking now that I have a granddaughter. Well, I have some other granddaughters, too. And I did get Molly a little scrapbook so that she can start doing her own scrapbooking because she loves crafts and making cards with me and all that good stuff. How pretty this paper is. Oh, my gosh. I'm in love. <gasps> Look at how gorgeous that is. Are we starting to freeze up now? 
I was hoping I got on here early enough that we wouldn't have any issues tonight. Hang on, that's, I love this one. Look at how pretty that is. And that embossing folder, like this one kind of matches it, right? I think these embossing folders go with this paper, if I'm correct. Here we go. Ooh la la, look how pretty that is. Yeah, these are just gorgeous. Here's, here's one more. Very, very pretty. This has 12 pieces in it, just like normal. So I get to start making swap cards with these. I got a couple of packs of that. Oh, I love this stuff. This is In Good Taste Designer Series Paper. This is a big one. This has 24 sheets in it. <clears throat> I'm getting it open. Hang tight. And here we go. Did I do that right? I did. <laughs> Look at this. Yeah, absolutely beautiful, beautiful elements. So I got those two. <gasps> Look at the bricks and the texture. Holy cow. Beautiful. I hope I'm holding them there long enough for you guys. I don't want to like bore you to death, but I don't want to yank them down really quick either. Here we go. Gorgeous. Yeah. This is kind of like like drywall mudded texture. It looks really real. Pretty cool. Oh, this is pretty. Look at this. We got the wood texture going on with like the wallpapery stenciling look. That's pretty. By the way, this is the back. Like that's what I'm showing you. The front and the back of each one. And then we have some gray. Did I do this one already? And some different brick. No, I think these are all different. Okay. Oh yeah, I'm still, they're still different. Here we go. I couldn't resist, sorry. <laughs> Here's some more. I gotta make sure that I got this in the screen right. <laughs> oh, can't have fun, stay home. <laughs> Here we go. You can't even see me now. <laughs> oh, this one's really cool. This is like really textury. Maybe they're just different colors, hey? I don't know, but they're pretty. Okay. Oh, this is like, oh, this one's like a blankety look. It's like has the texture of a woven blanket. Okay. I didn't realize there were so many different patterns in here. Maybe I should read things when I'm looking at them. <laughs> yeah, we can't all be, we can't all be perfect, can we? Nope. Ooh, I like this brick too. Look at this. Holy man. There goes my check, Sharon says. I know, right? Yeah, it's it's um it's an expensive time of year, but let's be real. We're not going out to eat, we're not shopping, we're not having drinks with friends, we're not doing any of those things. So get yourself some craft stuff. <laughs> let's get some card making stuff, right? Okay, and I got three packs of that paper in good taste, and good taste, and good taste. Who wants to see these embossing folders in action? Do you guys want to see them? Oh, great. Now I have no sound. Are you kidding? Does everybody else have sound? Hang on. Okay. I'm hearing We're sound over here. Sarah's going to do a birthday order. Good for you. Okay. I'm just going to turn this down a little bit. Okay. I still hear sound. So if you're missing sound, it's got to be the internet on your end because it's not me. Okay. Hang on. I'm grabbing a big shot. I can't walk anymore. <laughs> There's stuff everywhere. Okay. Cardstock. Here we go. Uh, I'm going to cut some pieces here. 
I've got lots of flirty flamingo. Okay, so first of all, I'm gonna use this one, and this is called Greenery Embossing Folder. So we're gonna do this one. And let's see how this works. Oh, I don't think that did anything. Nope, it didn't. I don't know how to use these, you guys, so hang with me. Ooh, that feels pretty tight. Oh, let's get this out of here, maybe. Yep, I think that might do the trick. Yep, I think I got it. Now I'm gone? Nope, I'm still on, Jamie. I'm still on my screen, and I'm running. And I still have sound, too. <gasps> Look at how pretty that is. Oh my goodness, that is gorgeous. Love it. Let me grab some more flirty flamingo. I just happen to have a lot of flirty flamingo scraps. I got all these from the ends of something I cut off. Whoops. I don't remember what it was, but I'm pretty glad I have it. So here comes another one. Here's the here's the one that goes like this. Ooh, this is going to be interesting. Now, I don't have a really big piece here, so I'll do this. So I'm just putting this in between two cutting plates without the thin adapter. We also have um, new die cutting machines coming, but they're not going to be available when the new catalog goes live for everybody. But they'll be coming shortly after that. Look how pretty this is, you guys. Can you see it? I tip it in the light right? It is really, really pretty. Okay, next I have this one looks delicious. Look at how cool this looks. I'm gonna get a bigger piece of cardstock. Hang on, here's a bigger one. Here is some gray granite. Just seems fitting. I'm gonna put that in here. Now this is a thicker folder, so I'm not quite sure how this is gonna work. Nope, I don't think that's working at all. Do this. Yeah, see, this is why I need to watch the videos, you guys. Nope, that's not right. I need my glue folder plate, which I don't even know where it is. Here it is. Is that it? Nope, that's not it. Take a drink. I gotta find something. I wasn't planning on doing this. Maybe we're done. I don't know where my blue plate is. Oh, Joe. Found it. Don't worry. Oh, I just stepped on all those packing bubbles and they didn't pop. <laughs> I was expecting like explosions to happen. Boom, 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 boom. Didn't happen. Which is kind of good, right? <laughs> Yeah, let's see if this works. Yep, I think this is gonna do it. I put the blue plate on top. This is a thicker folder. <gasps> oh, look at this. Look at that texture. This one is called something about paper. Uh, old world paper, look at that. You could do either side. Very, very cool. Okay, what else we got? Is that it? Oh, no, I have some designer series paper here to share with you. I think that's all the embossing folders now, you guys. Okay, so we're good there. Let me get all of these things out of my way. Over here. I can put this back in here. Oh, no, I didn't do this one. Hang on. This is Tasteful Textile 3D Embossing Folder. Look at that one. Mm, that looks really fun just so happened that I have a big shot right down here on the floor next to me. It's kind of stupid, wasn't it? <laughs> it's okay. We're all right. This one I'm using with the blue plate. Here we go. Ooh, I like this. It's the little things in life that just make me super giddy. Can you guys see that? I hope you can see it. Ooh, there you can see it now. Beautiful. Okay, so that one was called the textile. Tasteful textile. Okay, so now I think that's it. I'll put all these little samples. Well, maybe I'll leave them out here. 
sample, sample, sample. I gotta put my chain away so I don't lose it. Hang on, it doesn't wanna stay there. All of these away, and now I've got some more designer paper to show you. Now do you see why before I come on live I have all this stuff pretty much organized? Because otherwise you guys are sitting around twiddling, whoops, twiddling your thumbs, which I don't know about you, but it would kind of make me a little crazy. Yeah. Okay, a little bit. Oh, this is the in color designer paper, so this will be pretty. We've got a new pattern on this season. Here we go. Oh, yes, look at this. Isn't that pretty? This is whatever the new blue is called. What's it called? I got it right here. <gasps> Misty Moonlight. Beautiful patterns. Then. Here's the other one. Hmm. Let's do this. There we go. Again, this is still the misty moonlight. What does this say? Oh, this is our statement of the heart. These little tiny words on here. It says, to love what we do and share what we love. And then it's in a different language. So that's what it says over and over in all different languages. That's really cool. Very pretty. Okay, so that's our um, Misty Moonlight. Here is the Cinnamon Toast. Is that what it's called? Cinnamon Cider. I like Cinnamon Toast. I haven't had Cinnamon Toast in a very long time. <laughs> this is our M Madness. No, Magenta Madness. Oh, hang on. Magenta Madness. I like that just because of the name. Not going to lie. And again, with the wood grain and the teeny weeny little words. What time is it? 525. Okay, we're doing really good. Then this is Bumblebee something, right? What's that called? even have any of that color. Why don't I have that color? Oh, you guys, that's going to make me so mad. I didn't order it. <laughs> Probably missed it. I'll order some along with the new paper that I just became available. Don't worry. I'll maximize that second day air order too. <laughs> Here's the green. And whoops, sorry. This is called Just Jade. That's very pretty. And again, whoops, the little words and the wood grain and the just jade. This is really pretty. So I still have to order the flowery 6x6 designer series paper. There is a brass foil sheet that wasn't available when I ordered the other day. So I'll order some of those and then I need to get the Bumblebee designer series paper because I do not, that is an error on my part that I think we could order that. I don't remember hearing that we couldn't, but the Bumblebee, I think that's what it's called, right? Bumblebee? Yeah, Bumblebee is this color, and I have it here in the 6x6, six six, I mean 12x12, 12 12, but I didn't get it 8.5x11. So, anyways, my mess up. I'll get it fixed. Thank goodness I have another order going in, right? Oh, thank goodness. It's not the end of the world. Nobody's going to die. Lots of bigger fish to fry, right? Okay, so here's all these things. Now, the next thing that I wanted to do is, let's put these up here, is show you some of the cards that I got. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my camera down on my tabletop so that you can, it, so everything isn't backwards, right? Because I hate doing that. When it's backwards, I don't like it. So I'm going to put everything down on my tabletop. And let me get those out first. Got it, I got several pieces of mail today. Oh, I had some little presents too that I need to share. Yep, I'm under the desk again. <laughs> Somebody told me that they that was the first video they ever saw is right at the beginning I went under my desk and came back out and she said she was hooked. <laughs> I thought that was really funny. Okay, 
Um, sorry, Angie, that your um, Facebook dropped off. Mine is still running fine here on my screen. So, okay. Flipping the camera around so we can see all the goodies. Hang tight. And here we go. All right, you guys. Here, maybe now you can get a better look at these embossing fold or embossed layers too. Is that not gorgeous? Look at this one. This is that textile one. That's really cool. This is the other little mini one. There were two mini ones. Beautiful. Here is that old world paper. It really does look like crinkled up paper. Like who thought of that, right? That's crazy. Okay, first thing I want to show you here. Look at this. It's so cute. This came, of course, for Haley and Jared. And, oh, this card was for me. It says, sometimes the smallest things take up the most room in your heart. And I read this letter already. This is from Linda McGee. And she said, take care and keep up the great work on your videos and your website. I just finished the online birthday bonanza number two class and I just loved it. As I have said before, this is my favorite DSP. She loves koalas. So when she saw the gift, she sent to Valerie, she sent this to Valerie. I just knew I had to get it and send it to her. Isn't that cute? Yeah, very cute. And Oh my gosh, it's so cute. She's going to love it. Absolutely love it. So thank you so much, Linda. You are just the sweetest. And I will put this in the bag to give to Haley and Jared. Look at that. Oh my gosh, I think I'm going to have fun with it. Yeah. Thank you so much. That was so sweet. Now, this is the card that she sent. And I think we'll be making this. Okay. Super, super cute. Ready? Wait for it. Look at that. That's really cool, isn't it? It says, congratulations on the birth of Valerie Lee. This journey you are beginning is the most wonderful and rewarding journey of your lives. Enjoy it, and God bless you all. A stamp above fan, Linda McGee. Thank you so much, Linda. This is the cutest little card ever, and look at that. Yeah, we're going to, I'm going to, I'll let Haley and Jared see this, but then I'm stealing it. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I will not lie. Okay. This is from Tracy Gill, and look at, she had this pretty sticker on here. I already opened this. I always open things up ahead of time and read them because, well, I love getting cards and I can't resist, but look at how pretty this card is. Hang on. Here's our little sticky note. Look at how gorgeous that is. Like, holy cow. So pretty. This is that stamp set abstract impressions that is retiring. Same with the background stamps. Yeah. The bird is from Bird Ballad, I believe. This is so pretty. And then um, there was a present. Mm, I think I already showed the present. Oh, no. This, was it? This was wrapped in here, I think. I think I already took the present out. But anyways, she had it. The card was all wrapped up in here with the bird on it. It's got a little bird sticker. Very, very pretty. And Tracy said, thank you for sharing yourself with us during the quarantine. I know it can't be easy with all you do and with Miss Val. I sent you a private message on Facebook last week. I was so happy you responded. I wanted to share with you a piece of my heart. I can make it through the day, which is lonely in my craft room. You are a true blessing with your sense of humor. <laughs> Thank you, Tracy. You are so sweet. Really appreciate it. So we've got that beautiful card. Let me set this over here, too. Then I just got this today from Janelle. And oh my goodness, look at how pretty these are. What? That's beautiful. Very pretty. It says, wishing you all the love and smiles that you so deserve. Happy Mother's Day. Hope you have a wonderful day. Miss Val is precious. Hugs, Val, or Janelle. I love these. These are really pretty. And she kind of made them raise up a little bit. Can you see the dimension on those poppies? Very, very pretty. Thank you so much. I love that poppy set. Like, everything you make with it is just beautiful. 
Here is a card from Bunny Green. Ooh, she used some of my favorite paper. It says, what a beautiful difference a single life makes. Happy Mother's Day. Hope your first day as a Grammy is sweet and cherishing. <laughs> Thank you, Bunny. Very, very pretty. I love that. Love it. Then I have a card here from Anne Boy Boyette. Oh my gosh, look at the teapot. I love it with this paper too. That is genius. This says, I think, thank you so much. Keep those good videos coming, Anne. This is so pretty. And look, she did the inside of the card with designer series paper. Let me see what we got here. Oh, she's paying me for a class. So I got your I got your money order, Anne. Thank you. And I will get that finalized right away. By the way, you guys, I just um I just published my newest online class this morning at 6:30 a.m. We have the by the dock designer or I'm sorry, by the dock kit club or kit, kit class I can't even think but this is the card that I demonstrated this morning it's got that really fun gift card holder or you could use this to put a message in that pops up or anything else that might stick in here that's thin like this but yeah the video for this is on my blog my blog address is right here and also all the information and the ordering buttons you get a whole bunch of a product with this kit. You get the denim ribbon, the tags and more accessory kit, copper dotted treat bags, half a pack of the Come Sail Away DSP, and a sponge dauber. It goes out priority mail with a PDF file, and you get a pre-cut card stock pack for eight cards, four different designs. So very cool. Video tutorials for all. $45 for the kit class called Buy the Dock. This was a really fun one. I love doing this. I made the other cards yesterday too, and they're sitting right here. I would love to show them to you, but the element of surprise is part of the fun, so I don't ever show those ahead of time. Now, I've got cards here from Lori Schwint. Look at how pretty this is. And it says, thank you so much for the notebook. It was a nice surprise when I got home from work today. I have a order ready and waiting and had the notebook on the order. Ah, oh, Lori, that's awesome. Lori won one of our notebooks. I believe it was from our team meeting. So she was a door prize winner. Look at how pretty that is. Oh, I love it. it says Kelly, of all the 100s, hundreds of stamp sets I have, none says congrats to the new grandma. So I'm writing to wish you a much happiness with your new granddaughter. She is so sweet and precious. Thank you so much, Lori. And congratulations works, right? And it's beautiful, and I love it. And here is, look at, this is the same design. How fun is that? Maybe we'll have to make a card like this out of some new stuff. What do you think? I like it. I like the layout. Very pretty, Lori. Happy Mother's Day. Wishing you much happiness today and always. Oh, that's a great greeting to use for Mother's Day, right? With your new granddaughter, Lori. Thank you, Lori. So sweet. These are beautiful. I'm going to set those over there in my not give to Haley pile too. Not that I would give your cards to Haley, but you know what I mean. Okay, did I? Nope. Okay, that's the rainbow card. I've already shown you that one. Here comes another one here. This is from Tennessee. Oh, look at how beautiful that is. I love this milk can. And the font on here. Simply thankful for all the good things. And it says, thank you for all you are, for all you do. This is from Bonnie Pleat. Look at how she's punched out the corners of this layer too. Super, super pretty, Bonnie. Oh my gosh, and she gave me $5 for something. It says, hello and congrats on the new baby, Valerie. Best wishes to everyone. I am a new customer to you, but have been using Stampin' Up! products for many years. Her consultant retired and she is thrilled to be with me now. I'm thrilled to have you. I have always paid for my catalogs. Ah, oh, Bonnie. She says, I've always paid for my catalogs and so see no reason to change now. My rep asked for $5 for the annual. If that is not enough, please let me know. Look at her. Look at, look at her. Isn't that sweet? Looking forward with great anticipation. Thank you. Well, how sweet are you, Bonnie? Thank you so much. And I love your card. This is gorgeous. Okay, next, let's see what else do we have here. 
we have a card from Kathy Fennell, and Kathy's from Sparks, Nevada. And look at look at her printing, you guys. Like she wrote that. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. I don't know that. Uh, I don't know. Is that uh, it? Has to be. It has little dot marks at the end of each letter. My goodness, that's crazy. Beautiful. Happy Mother's Day. Look at how green that is. I love it. Happy Mother's Day. It says, hi, Kelly. Left this blank so you can pay it forward if you choose to. Kathy. She used the same greeting. Wishing you happiness today and always for Mother's Day. I love that. Is that in a set that's for Mother's Day? I don't think so. I don't think it is. And Kathy said... I wanted to reach out and say thank you for the Gilded Gems that I won from your Sunday Facebook Live. They are pretty and much appreciated. She cannot thank me for enough for all the happiness and joy that I bring to each and every one of my Facebook Lives. They always brighten my day. That's always my intent is to brighten your day, guys. I hope that your mom and Haley have a very happy, that you, your mom and Haley have a very happy Mother's Day. And bless Mother's Day. Thank you for all you do. Kathy Fennell. Thank you, Kathy. That is so sweet of you. So very sweet. Oh, look. Look what she did. She even put some of the um, embossed basket, the basket weave. Just a little strip of it right there. And isn't that so attractive? I absolutely love that. That is beautiful. All right. Then, this is so funny that I got this card from Lisa Nealon. She is one of my team members. And beautiful envelope. This is so funny, Lisa, because I actually have this particular layout sitting over on the side of my desk to make. And it's a card that I made many years ago. And I just found it and thought, oh, we should do one of those. And here, Lisa is, must be reading my mind. Look at how cool this is, you guys. Again, with the ornate garden, this is absolutely beautiful. It says, hello, fabulous. I made you a card because you're worth it. And then Lisa says, thank you. Look, here's the back where you would write on it. Thank you for all that you do and your team, for all that you do for your team and viewers. We enjoy the break from real life to get our craft on with you. We really enjoy, we Enjoy hearing about your family, especially Baby Val. Hugs Lisa. Isn't that the sweetest thing ever? Look at how cute that is. And then she put some of the gold pearls in there. It's really pretty, Lisa. And it's so funny that I honestly have... Let me see if I can find it. I have that card set aside. Yep, here it is. Set aside. It's it's the same card. And look at how old. Do you guys remember this? This is an Easter card. It is so, so old. Same exact card that Lisa made. And I'm, I'm just getting ready. I'll show you guys how to make this because it's really fun and easy. Well, it's I mean, it's not super easy. But all it is is a little cutting and scoring. And you get this really funky layout. So, great minds think alike, Lisa. That was pretty cool, I thought. I'm like, oh my gosh. What? What a coincidence. Okay, let me put these back down. These are my keep in my spot down below. <laughs> so that I could have a library of cards to choose from. Okay, I have one more thing to share with you. Here we go. This came today. Oops. Oh, that's, yeah, that's not the right address. This came today. This is from Donkers in Marquette, Michigan. And when I saw this, well, Steve brought it to me and he's like, what is this? And I said, open it. <laughs> and he didn't open it. He's like, no, it's yours. You open it. This is from Connie. And Connie says, thanks for all that you have done over the past few weeks. Your Facebook Live has brought a lot of comfort. Enjoy the caramels. Don't tell Bev. And I laugh my butt off. Bev is my um, health coach. But look at this, you guys. These are the sea salt caramels that Connie got me hooked on around Christmas time. And now I can't, I've like bought them a couple times. I can't stop eating them. They're from Donkers in Marquette, Michigan. Fabulous candy store. Connie, you're the best, just the sweetest. I can't thank you enough. I am completely out of sea salt caramels, but now I'm not. And Steve ate that one. So I'm going to have one now because... <sighs> They are my favorite candy now. They're, they're even better than a peanut butter parfait that I had today from Dairy Queen. So, 
All right, you guys. Mm, look at them. Sea salt caramels. The very best. I'm going to flip you back around. And see my big mess over there, right? I know I had this place all cleaned up, but it doesn't last long. Okay. I know. I'm sorry. I wish I could share these with you. I wish I could send you each one. Oh, Connie's on. Yay. <laughs> they came today. Steve ate one. Like, right out of the gate. <laughs> He's like, well, let me try one. And I was kind of like... So, I let him have one. And then I brought them in my office where they will stay hidden. <laughs> I'm selfish like that. Uh-huh. Yeah. So... Friday night. How are you guys doing? Is everybody okay? I know that we're still struggling, right? We each struggle on an individual basis with this whole CQ 2020. I am sick to death. I'm just done with it. But of course I can't do anything about it. So you might as well smile and try to figure out something to make you happy. That's the way I think about it. I know people are getting cranky again. <laughs> and it's not going to go away, but the crankiness, I mean, um, you have to get yourself in a better, better, better mental state. I'm happy that my phase 10 game finally came. Yay. And maybe we'll do a little bit of that. And I know that people are supposed to be staying home. I really think that's more about not going out where there's going to be other people in public where you could transmit the virus, right? So I said to Steve something today. I'm like, what are you doing tomorrow? And he goes, I don't know. And I said, let's go drive over to Lake Michigan. We can just drive down Lake Michigan, look at the look at the lake and whatever, just to go someplace. to. And I'm thinking today while I was driving around, like, well, that's a that's a ways away. So, like, what about you? You would usually stop and have lunch someplace. Well, you know what? We can str swing through a subway and grab some subs, or we can pack a lunch and sit in a parking lot by the lake and eat lunch in the car, right? I don't know, but I'm just. I think that we need to get out of here and go someplace and do something where we're not going to be exposing anybody to anything or ourselves to anything, but just take a little take a little day trip in the car because I'm getting a little stir crazy and I'm usually pretty good. I like to stay home. Like I love working from home. I know for some of my friends that are very, very bounce around out in, you know, shopping and lunch and happy hours and all of, I do lunch and I do shopping, but I don't do all the happy hours and all the parties and all the things. So I'm like, I'm starting to get a little stir crazy. So I really feel for them. Yeah. Oh, Linda's going to get a haircut. She's in Arizona. My friend Barb just got her roots colored. Yay! She's in Wyoming. They're like, they're doing okay there. But they don't have the population we have, right? And Julie says it's nice to get a change of scenery. I agree. And then on the other hand, I feel a little guilty about thinking about how like, well, they're telling people to stay home because what if your car breaks down? You have to call a mechanic to come. Then you're, you know, you've got people out doing things for you. Um, what if you get in a car accident and you have to have the paramedics come and then, you know, you're exposing them, you're getting exposed to them and all the things. I don't really have anything to say about that. Like, I get what you're saying, but people can only be pushed so far. <laughs> That's kind of the way I feel about it. Like if we had an absolute lockdown, of course I would follow that mandate. But that's not the case here. So I'm thinking a day trip is kind of okay. And if it's not, I've made mistakes before and I'll make them again. <laughs> Hopefully not the same ones. Um, I do try to learn from them. But right, Angie says, she agrees with me 100%. If it makes me feel better. And I just feel like I, I just need to go someplace. And I know there's not really any place to go. But what are you going to do? I know, I'm really sorry that I'm eating. But I'm hungry. And, I, and I'm eating such yummy, delightful little treats. Life still goes on. That's right. 
Who just said that? I miss lunches with my girlfriends. I know. That was my thing. I go out to lunch just to get out of here and to walk away because otherwise I'm working like 16 hours a day. I never stop. I'm like the Energizer Bunny. I have to go away from my house to stop. <laughs> That's like my getaway. <laughs> yeah, Sue said, it's okay. We all need a little getaway. Thank you. Because I kind of feel guilty, but not guilty enough to stay home. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I'm allowed to eat. Thank you, Matthew. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, bring your ice skates. Linda says, I know, it's so cold, right? It's really cold. And it'll be colder when we get over by Lake Michigan. I don't know if we're actually going to head over to Manitowoc and drive up the, the coast. Or if we're going to go up towards um, Wrightstown and go along the, is it the Fox River or the Wolf River? I don't even know. One of the rivers is a really pretty drive. I just need to go someplace. Thank you, Debbie. Debbie says, no guilt. I just need to go someplace and do something. <laughs> I'm like reaching my limit here and I'll be fine. Don't worry. I'm just kind of messing around with you guys, but I really do want to go someplace. I'm not kidding about that. Yay. Judy just made it to my live. We're almost done, Judy. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you can watch the replay. I unboxed all my new goodies from the new annual catalog. So there you go. Wanda says her and her husband drove 50 kilometers to have fish and chips last week and she didn't feel guilty. There you go. I'm not going to feel guilty about it either. Um, yeah, we all have our limits, right? <laughs> That's the way I feel about it. We all have our limits. Okay, I'm having another hot flash. Did I miss any questions, you guys? What do you think? Don't forget, if you need to order anything, I always appreciate your orders. Make sure you share this video. That really helps me out. Joanne says, mental health is very important. Bingo. That's perfect. I need a mental health day. And I thought, too, I thought, well, if Steve doesn't feel like going for a drive with me, I'll just go myself. I don't care. I can do it. Then I thought, well, I could pick up my friend Rachel. But no, we can't do that because... We're not hanging out with people, so you can't just go do that, right? The only people we hang with, Haley and Jared. I don't know if they want to go on for a drive with a baby. Hi, Janine Hyde. So, yeah. Just looking to see if there's any questions. I don't think so. <laughs> Sharon says she wants ice cream now. I'm sorry. <laughs> Peanut Buster Parfait Dairy Queen. <laughs> Delightful. How do you spell the name of the candy? It's called D-O-N-C-K-E-R-S. Ready? Oh, it's backwards. Darn it. D-O-N-C-K-E-R-S, Marquette, Michigan. <gasps> it is to die for delicious. I'm not even kidding. Like, I have to make sure that I set it. It always sets over there on my shelf because if it was on my desk, I'd just eat it all. When it's over there, I have one piece a day. I am a hot lady. Who said I'm hot? Paula. Thanks. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> I know I'm really warm, but I do have a tank top on under this because it was cold today. Okay. I think I'm going to let you guys go. Like I said, I will be back Sunday night. Keep your fingers crossed that I can get my taxes done because they are really biting me in the ankles like a little chihuahua. <laughs> Somebody just asked about a new paper cutter. No, we got a new paper cutter already. It's wonderful. Like, I'm really impressed with it. It's only like $25. Here it is. This is our new paper cutter. We're getting a new die cutting machine, but it won't be available when the catalog goes live June 3rd. So just so you know that. Um, but it'll be, it'll be coming shortly after that. There we go. This is a really nice little paper cutter. I like it. Cutting and scoring blades. Yeah. So $25. Um, again, I really appreciate your orders. Thank you so much. You will find me at www.astampabove.com. I will be posting this video there. I'll also have a bunch of links above this video on Facebook so that if you want to go check out my um, the $99 discount shopper kit or if you want to go check out my online classes or subscribe to Paper Pumpkin or shop with me, all those links are going to be above this video once it's done processing and I stop being live. I like copy and paste those links in there so you can always find them. 
Thank you for sharing my video. Give me a thumbs up if you didn't. That also helps me. I think that our internet held out pretty good tonight, you guys. What do you think? I was worried, and that's why I wanted to get on here early, too. So, have yourselves a wonderful weekend. I will be back at 7 p.m. Central Time on Sunday evening. I have no idea what we're making, but it'll be good. Have a good weekend. Bye-bye.